What's up again, YouTube? Video number two in this day. I wanted to hit something that, that seems more interesting to talk about than ranting on Vito Belfort. Um, I watched an interview with Jim Miller. I think it was the one with Ariel Hawani after his, um, his last fight with uh, Charles Oliveira. And um, he made a good point about the competition in lightweight, and he said something regarding the merger. Now, the merger included two, uh, the addition of two new weight classes, featherweight and bantamweight. Featherweight is 145 pounds for the male division, and bantamweight is 135 pounds. Current champ at 145 is Jose Aldo, and uh, bantamweight champ 135 is Dominic Cruz. WC was then folded into UFC, and all the fighters from lightweight division, oh, excuse me, the other half of the lightweight division, featherweight and bantamweight, were now added to the already five divisions, now seven of the UFC. So you got weight classes ranging from 135 to 265, and it creates two more champions and a lot more fights and a lot more uh, guys fighting in different weight classes. So what Jim Miller basically said was, I don't think the guys from the WC lightweight um, coming in now will have great success against our lightweight division. Can't really call it our lightweight division since now the UFC lightweights. Um, but he made a good point though, because Donna Cerrone's fighting Paul Kelly, and I think he's going to get wrecked. Ben Henderson's fighting Mark Bolchek, and I think he's going to lose the unanimous decision. So when you look at Benson Henderson, Donald Cerrone, their two fights, how close the first one was, and great fight actually, and Ben won that one. Second one wasn't nearly as close as the first. But then you look at guys like Anthony Pettis and Shane Roller. You know, Anthony Pettis is fighting Clay Guida. I think he's going to win that fight. And that's going to be a tough test for him because Guida's on another level when it comes to um, Guida. You know, Guida's made so many improvements and he's so tough to beat now that you have to like kill him in order for him to stop coming at you or submit him both are, are hard to do knocking out guido submitting him now is going to be very difficult uh since submitting gomi so when we look at chain roller chain roller um i think out of the four guys i mentioned has the easiest fighter out of all of them um man i just forgot who he's fighting but anyway um when you, when you look at the, the, the matchups that they, they're throwing in the lightweight division, the lightweight division, sorry, I said division, everyone is looking at who's next in line, trying to figure out what the hell to do with Mahon Gillard. Um, Eve Edwards should fight him. Sean Shark is on, on his own. Uh, Kamal Shalarus is also added to it. So, I mean, you have a lot of guys, Anthony Injikawani. Um, Jamie Varner should have been in that mix, but his stupid ass lost his fight. He shouldn't have lost to Shane Roller, but uh, congrats to Shane Roller. But other than that, when you look at the merger and how the, the, the guys stack up against each other, Jim Miller might be right. You know, the, the matchups, um, you know, Benson Henderson is a grappler. Shane Roller is a grappler. Both have really good cardio, but the stand-up is eh. Anthony Pettis is most well-rounded guy and probably the toughest to beat. And also the last WC lightweight champ, uh, Donald Cerrone just runs his mouth. But if he actually put it together, he can he can win a few. Um, Kamal Shalarus, that kicks a devastating, dangerously devastating. Um, so it it would it would really be interesting to see how all those fights turn out. And then on top of that, you got the other lightweight um, contenders. You got. Uh, Dennis Seaver, Joe Sotaropoulos, um, who else is fighting? Oh, of course, the normal contender and the champ, Frank Edgar and Gray Maynard. So, I mean, you, you have to, to take in consideration how the lightweights from WEC match up against the UFC lightweights. And I think Miller has a point because if you look at the style match, styles of, of the guys that are mentioned for WEC, the majority grapplers, I mean, they are well-rounded. Granted, Kamal Shalarus, um, Donna Cerrone, Benson Henderson, Anthony Pettis, Shane Rolla, Anthony Chikawani. I mean, they're, they're well-rounded in a sense, but the UFC guys are more well-rounded. You know, 
take Mark Bolchek for example. No one thought he was going to be able to submit Dustin Hazen. No one thought he was going to um go three rounds with Jim Miller. And I, I felt like he won that fight, Um, to be honest with you, in Jersey. So you you have the consideration, the matchups, the styles. You know, Evan Dunham is a well-rounded guy. Sean Shirk is a veteran. Kenny Floyd, well-rounded. Um, Takano Gomi still in the mix. Tyson Griffin, Nick Lentz. Um, see who else? I mean, it's just it's this more of let's put it this way. It's like five to one. There's more or, or three to two. I'll be nice. There's more threats in the UFC lightweight division of endless guys and top ten guys, world class guys to give the U, the WC lightweights problems. And they're outnumbered. First off, they're outnumbered, and their matchups against. If styles make fights, so their matchups to to make the fight will be harder for them to win. You know, I think Kamal Shalrus is more of a dark horse though. Doesn't you really utilize his wrestling so well? But if he had to, he would beat up a lot of good guys. I think he could beat Gomi. I think he could fight Eve Edwards. Give him a tough fight. Um, Evan Dunham. You can match up well with him. I mean, you have you have guys. You have Cole Miller, Matt Wyman. You know, if they fight Anthony Jaquani or uh, who else is in that mix? Who else? I can think of on top of my head. Um, nope, can't think of anybody. I think I named everybody. Top guys. I'm naming top level guys here. So Jim Miller has a point, and um, I think if if all these fights break out, it sh it, it speaks for itself. If W size WC guys can't beat the UFC lightweights. You know, you got you got the answer. You got the word cut out for you. And um, besides that, I think it's going to be some real interesting matchups, some really good fights, great fights, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So um, that's my semi rant, and uh, more of a focus on something other than Vito Belfort. So I uh, just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for watching, and this is video two out of the day, my day off. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.